Hello, statisticians. Welcome to section 11.4 Excel tips for hypothesis tests with two population standard deviations. We're going to compare them to each other, see if one is greater than the other, either the standard deviation or the variance. As we're comparing two standard deviations, we're going to use a different distribution called the F distribution. The command for this is equals F dot DIST dot RT for right tail, open a parentheses, then we'll do the test statistic, comma, the degrees of freedom for the numerator, comma, the degrees of freedom for the denominator. The way your textbook has you set up these problems, they will all turn into right tail test because we're always going to put the larger variance or the larger standard deviation first. So if we're comparing two pesticides in absorption, the first sample of six sprays of pesticide A had a variance of 2.3. Be careful there, it's a sample, so we're gonna use the lowercase s, and because it's a variance, that's actually S squared. If I actually wanted to know what the standard deviation is, we would have to do equals the square root of the 2.3 to get the standard deviation of 1.51, but we have the variance. 10 sprays of pesticides B has an S squared variance of 0.6. Again, if I wanted to know the standard deviation, we could do SQRT, open a parenthesis 0.6, close the parenthesis, and the standard deviation is 0.77. So let's set up our null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is that sigma squared, the variance of group one or A, because that's the largest one, we put it first, is equal to sigma squared of group B. The alternative hypothesis then, we wanna show that A is greater. So sigma squared of group A is greater than sigma squared of group B. We could have done this with just the standard deviations as well and not done the squareds. Either way is fine as long as you're consistent as you conduct your hypothesis test. For the F statistic, the way we calculate it is we take the larger S squared and divide by the smaller S squared. That's what forces it to be a right-tailed test. Should be the same order as my hypothesis as well. In this case, we have S squared the variances of 2.3 and 0.6 already. If we just had the standard deviations, we would have to square them in the formula, but they've already been squared. So all I have to do is hit equals 2.3 divided by 0 0.6, and we get our F statistic of 3.833. We can quickly calculate our P value by saying equals F dot dist dot RT for right tail, forces everything to be right tail in this type of hypothesis test. Our test statistic, I can just click the 3.833, comma, the degrees of freedom of group one, the larger group, the numerator is pesticide A has the larger variance, one less than six is five, comma, the smaller variance of 0.6 came from group B, which has nine degrees of freedom, one less than the sample size of 10. Close the parentheses and we find our p-value is 0 0.03876, which is smaller than the alpha of 0 0.05, which means for our decision we can reject the null hypothesis. And we can make our interpretation of this result. We successfully rejected the null, focusing on the inter alternative. There is enough evidence to show that. There is sufficient evidence to conclude the variance in absorption rate of pesticide A is greater, as the alternative says, than the absorption rate of pesticide B. So hopefully this video was helpful to you as you're doing a hypothesis test with two population standard deviations using the F test Always making it a right-tailed test by putting the larger variance first.